Hi everyone, welcome to an updated version of my Samsung S20 verdict, I suppose. It's not a review, it's more of a verdict on whether I think you should be able to buy it now in 2021. Now, as you may know, obviously with the S20 being the older premium uh, flagship phone, now the cheaper version of Samsung's, they it comes with a 120 hertz refresh rate 6.2 inch screen now as for the screen it's just great to be fair it's a really nice screen. it's Samsung it'll always be good they'll always be the best screens on the market anyway it's got uh, one UI 3 and I do love this I've started to choose this a little more over the EMUI now um, and that's a big thing because I've always loved my Huawei phones compared to Samsung we're in 2021 now, so do I think you should buy this over any other flagship, uh, budget flagship devices then? I want to say yes, because it's got the performance, it's got the Exynos uh, 990 chip in there. Uh, I believe it's 8 gig of RAM, but if you're in America, it's the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865, which may come in 12 gig, I'm not too sure. I... Um, Got the coral blue one, which I'm quite happy with the colour. It's a very nice colour, to be fair. It's got a good camera on it. It's the it's the battery. I love the phone. The phone's great. I wasn't supposed to keep it because I've been I've got my Mate 40 Pro, and I haven't gone back to it since. I've been using the S20 because it's got Google on it. Bearing in mind, I don't rely on Google, but I, I quite enjoyed having it back again, mostly because I pay, play Pokemon Go. And I do enjoy that game a lot. As for that though, the battery doesn't last very long. I took it off charge about an hour ago. Well, say two hours ago. And I am now on 76%. I played a bit of Pokemon Go, not much of it though. And I've done a bit of Facebook in. And that's it. It just goes down really quick. There's, it's quite heavy usage in the background there for some reason. And it wouldn't tell me what it is. So, yes... I would recommend buying this phone in 2021. It's uh, now cheap. I bought this for £250, which I'm quite happy with. And the camera's great, to be fair to it. It's a really good camera. Video in is really good as well. So I haven't really got anything but good to say about it, bar the battery. Life is just not very good at all. One thing I was quite frustrated with, though, obviously I've got the Mate 40 Pro that has a 66 watt charger and the P30 Pro that has a 40 watt charger, but neither of them fast charge the Samsung phone because they just don't. They don't support the charger for some reason. Now, Samsung's charger does. Obviously, you have to buy the fast charge version of that, though, which isn't cheap. That's quite a disgrace on Samsung's side, I think. Especially now that they've taken the charger out of the boxes with the S21 series. I think that's quite a disgrace on their side. They're following Apple, trying to get more money for less things. Um, I know a little bit about the S21. I've been tempted to maybe sell this and see if I can put it towards an S21. But the main improvement on that is obviously the chip and the camera. It performs quite well. Uh, this does just as good of a job to be fair. The camera is only as good as the user and I'm quite good at my photography. I used to be pro tog as they used to call it, call me or us. And the P30 Pro outperforms this but it's still a very good camera setup on here. Yeah. It's, it's a great bit of kit, to be fair. It's got three times optical zoom. It's just a great camera. Great phone. It feels great as well. I can say great more if you want. Uh, as for performance, it does have a few bugs. Hello. It's, uh, say if I bring this out here now, sometimes when I go into here, it won't do that straight away. It's like it has to load it for it to do that. That's a bit odd. I've never come across that 
a notification bar that has to load before. That's quite a stupid thing from Samsung. Um, also, it, it sometimes lags, so when I'm doing this here, it would be a bit juddery. Bear in mind, this is on 120 hertz now. It's also on... Where are we here? Display... Screen resolution. I'm on, this, I'm on the 720, and to be honest with you, it looks great. But the battery still goes down really fast. Time to if the battery goes down, I'm just going to go to 1080. Might as well enjoy a bit more sharpness on the screen. But yeah, it's worth buying, I think, especially for the price of it. It's, I believe, about £400 to buy new now. That's in the UK. Um, it's a 4,000 milliamp battery, so it should last longer. But Samsung have never been able to hold battery until the latest Note 20 Ultra Snapdragon. Exynos still don't stand up with the new versions either. So, if you're going to get any Samsung, just get a Snapdragon. No matter what Samsung it is, Snapdragon all the way. Hopefully this video is at some use to someone out there. And if, if it was useful to you, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me push a bit more to get more videos out there. I try to be as honest as I can be. Um, no one's, you know, I haven't got any anyone that's paying me for any of this stuff. So, yeah. Hope you liked the video anyway. And stay safe. Thanks.